Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer. So I did a reaction, copyright, went well, it's fine. <laughs> so now I'm doing the review of the trailer. So um, yeah, so without any further ado, let's just, let's, but words, let's get started. So first we have um Scott and he's kind of walking along and people are kind of noticing him and I can't really tell but is this the Baskin Robbins? I haven't been to one in a while so I know what the inside looks like but the outside or is this just a random store? It might be just a random store but Scott's sort of walking around and um and you know people are kind of look at him and see this is what I'm talking about Baskin Robbins because in the first movie, I don't, I don't think the second, right? not, not the second, right? No, no, no. In the first one, he had a job at Baskin Robbins. I think he might have been fired. I'm not sure. But this is the employee of the century. He does not look happy. But you, you see him in uh, his uh, Ant-Man uniform. This is his boss. He's like, yeah, I'm shaking hands with Ant-Man. <laughs> Even though he didn't treat him well. Uh, but he's in his Ant-Man outfit. Pretty cool. But basically, and you, and you have this kid who has an Ant-Man backpack. That looks cool. And it's giving him like a high five. This is probably not the case. He could just be a random kid. But is he Miles Morales? Doesn't he kind of look like him just with bigger hair? Like in, like in the games, he kind of looks like him just with poofier hair, with curlier hair. Is that Miles Morales? He's, he's not confirmed confirmed in the MCU, but if you guys remember, I guess spoilers for, um, what was it? Spider-Man Homecoming, which is the first Spider-Man movie in the um, MCU, his first solo movie. Um, we had Aaron Davis, who is the Prowler, and he told Spider-Man uh, that he didn't name drop him, um, but he said, I have a nephew. I don't want those weapons around in the city because I want to protect my nephew. But there was like a deleted scene that where because in the actual scene that not deleted, he told Spider-Man like, hey, you can't be, you can't let, you can't, sorry, you can't let the webs be here. I have ice cream and pizza in, in the trunk. I, I, I got to go for my movie night. And he's like, oh, no, bye, Mr. Criminal. But in the deleted scene, he had to call Miles. We said, oh, hey, Miles, it's. Uncle Aaron, you can't do movie night. The ice cream melted. I'm in a situation. But since this is the lead scene, technically the nephew's name is technically not Miles yet. But we already have his name, Aaron Davis. He's already doing kind of shifty things for like the right reasons in a way. that Not the, like, the right reasons, but you, you know what I mean. It's like gray area. So, and, and then in spoilers for the Spider-Man No Way Home, we had Electro from the TASM, the Amazing Spider-Man universe with, you know, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. He says, like, basically saying that, oh, there has to be a um, black uh, Spider-Man out there somewhere. So we have those two things. We have Aaron Davis, who's a prowler, and he says he has a nephew. The lead scene, his name is Miles. And now we have Electro saying that there has to be a black Spider-Man out there somewhere. And I'm sure movies in previous in Marvel, there, there was, um, you know, kids who looked like this little boy right here. Most definitely. But now I'm not actually kind of thinking about it. Could he be Miles? I think that'd be dope if Miles Morales was a fan of Ant-Man, right? Right? Am I the only one? Who knows? <laughs> um, but in the comments below, do you think he could be Miles? Well, he could be. Should he be older than that? I don't know. I mean, they could change it up. Um, because Peter in the MCU should be in college by now. So what was he? Like, like maybe fourth grade? Fifth grade, maybe? So he, yeah, he's probably still in elementary school. So... I'm trying to figure out where in the timeline does Spider-Man No Way Home end? And where does Ant Man the Wasp Quantumania begin? I just wanted to see the, the the time jump there. If it would make sense. Would or in the are they just changing it where a mouse would just be younger in this situation? 
want to despair about him yet. Who knows? I just kind of wanted to point this out. Um, and then, um, I like their outfits, and they're, they're at the, um, I was going to say the Oscars or the Emmys or something, they're at the red, red carpet. I like her dress, I like her suit. I, know, I heard people say in the comics she has shorter hair. And I, I always like when they do go comic, comic accurate, but I just don't think this really fits. Maybe I need to see a moving in the actual movie, but yeah, I just, ah, I, I don't like it. I don't mind them going comic accurate. That's not like a problem at all. It's just, it, you, you had to see how it fits the actress and how it's shaped. Are you going exactly shaped from the comics or is it not fitting well? Like, again, with different people with different shaped heads, it's, different like you know it, it just doesn't fit the this type of hairstyle and but i'm glad they're happy um never mind the noise but yeah i'm glad they're happy together but um so he's uh, leaving this um like this cafe um and you have this um this guy he's probably like the manager or something and he's like oh thank you spider-man and um he <laughs> And um, he just like, yeah, okay. And basically, what I was saying that Scott was like narrating. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, you know how I mentioned Scott was like narrating, but he's saying that he was talking to himself. Hey, Scott, like you, you're you're a um ex um con, like you know how you an Avenger. How did you save the world? And like you're basically saying the like oh you know kind of happened. And, um, and people always say, and that's when the guys say, oh, thank you, Spider-Man. Excuse me. I wonder if Spider-Man saved his life, the actual Spider-Man. But who knows? We come to the house. And basically we have, um, Cassie. And she's older now. It's a different actress from, like, different from Endgame. You know, which is fine. She, she, she looks fine. Um, and she's like, oh, um, which basically, but basically she's telling her dad, um, Scott saying, hey dad, like, you know, we can always still help people, even though it's not like a world threatening thing that's coming down on us, we can still help people. So he said, we made this device, like, you know, it's like a communicator, but quantum. And they're kind of, kind of interested. And, um, Jan's kind of like, wait, you're sending a message to the quantum realm and, um, She's like, shut it down, like, now. So, obviously, she'd know something, but basically, this thing, like, shrunk them, and they're kind of sucking them in, and, like, you know, it's sucking, you know, it's tearing out the walls. Janet's getting sucked in. Hank grabs her arm, and then, Ka um, what was it, um, Hope gets sucked in. Cassie gets sucked in, and I like how Scott only let go because Cassie was sucked in, so he can chase after her, so he can protect his daughter. I love that. And again, we get the logo. Um, and look at this. It, this looks amazing. And I, I'm and I, I'm really glad. Just like kind of like were Werewolf by Night. Even though Elsa Bloodstone can do all these things, she was terrified of Werewolf by Night because it's a werewolf. We have Cassie here, which I have mentioned my trailer reaction that she's never been in the quantum realm before, so she's kind of kind of scared. She's like, Dad, like where are we? And look at this. And the song, The Yellow Brick Road, is, is pretty cool. And again, we, we get this these people. And again, like I mentioned in my reaction, like, are they surrounding them? And how I mentioned before, like, what would you do in this situation where two people would just show up at thin air? Like, no credentials. Like, <laughs> what would you do? This person looks interesting with like the red cloak, but I'm really interested with this robot thing. He's probably not important, but he's like in center stage. So yeah, they're kind of um, kind of surrounding them. I'm kind of glad they're kind of on guard. They had their arms kind of out, saying they're kind of like, okay, are we gonna have a fight or something? I wonder if Cass can fight. Does she have any training? Uh, hopefully, that's not gonna be like an issue where it's too much or too little. Can she fight in the comics? Their dad trainer because in the first Ant-Man movie I kind of liked how Hope um 
taught Scott how to fight because he wasn't that good of a fighter and now he can fight. So does Cassie know how to fight or... I, I, I have faith in Marvel that they're going to do it right, but uh, I'm just a little bit skeptical. Like, how are they going to handle that? So we have Janet here and uh, she, I think she was kind of knocked out. Now she's kind of waking up, kind of like, okay, we're somewhere. And again, we've seen like this coral reef type of place. And we have Janet with Hank and Hope. We have someone in, in a, um, a hooded person. We have like an elevator shaft. What's that about? And we have these comets. And um, I wonder if these three wormholes are like three different universes or three different timelines or something. Because why are there three of them? It could just be a design choice, but I find that kind of interesting. And we have the, you, you know, original Ant-Man, original Wasp, and new Wasp. It's pretty funny. They're on this, like, hover thing. Pretty cool. I, li I like their goggles. We have Hope. I, I don't like her hair. <laughs> but she's in her, um, her Wasp uniform. It looks great. And basically, uh, Hope is saying, hey, Mom, like, why are you so afraid of this, pl of this place? We have... Hank's kind of confused, and Hope's kind of scared, and Janet's kind of like, oh, I don't want to be here. She's putting up her hood, and you see people kind of walking past her. She doesn't want to make a big introduction for herself. And basically, Janet said, like, hey, there's something I haven't told you. Someone puts, like, an orb in here. People are saying this is Kang. It might be. But, like, to power this up. And again, we've seen, like, the city with these rings. People are saying these are the the Legend 10 rings from like Shang-Chi. I mean, it looks really big, so it might be. <laughs> did, did they amplify it? Did they, or did they reconstruct it? Did they get like the powers in them and make bigger ones like of the metal? Who knows? But I mentioned reaction. If you watched um, Ant-Man 2, like spoilers, when um, Hank went to save Janet, there was a, in the background, there was like a dome like a type of city. I was like, okay, we're going to explore there. This might be it. I think it'd be kind of weird to show that in the background and never go to it. Like, you know what I mean? But basically, we have Kang in the background, the background voice saying, like, oh, this place isn't what you think. Okay, but what what do we think of it and how isn't what we think? Like, that's the question. What I think is that it's the dome in Ant-Man 2. So, is it not what I think? Who knows? And okay, we have this army. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what I just realized? When I said in reaction of saying that, oh, we're probably not going to see all the Kangs. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're probably not going to see all of them. Because there's like thousands of millions of them. So, probably maybe we're going to see like a few. I just realized that all of these people have like blue looking helmets and they're kind of purplish. Like, dark purplish like on the, the the bodies and that's what Kang looks like so are all these the Kang variants or just soldiers huh I could be wrong for the reaction these could be, all the Kangs could be here I could be wrong also like indeed it could just be soldiers but who knows but these all could be Kangs I mean who knows um, and we have Scott like in like a broken ship and he's kind of looking kind of kind of scared and we basically have Kang in all of his glory um and we have this February we have like a, a spaceship going through these it looks like where Scott was before um if we can go back to it like right here we're like the red so I'm assuming I'm assuming these people are going to go help Scott to get him out of there. Or this is where Scott's going. Either or. Or it could be both. We have someone's kind of touching this and it's kind of glowing. I don't know, it's like, kind of like a door. They're at this like, canteen with this alien. And we have um, Hope here. Along with Hank. Is Jen here also? I'm not sure. But we have Bill Murray. That's pretty funny. I wonder... People seem to think he's going to play a villain. I, I'm not sure if he is. Um, Could be possible. 
he kind of seems like a nice guy, so I'm not sure why he'd be a villain. He's wearing sunglasses. We have giant Ant-Man, and um, people are already kind of like surrounding him. There's like fire everywhere, so... Uh, Scott's fighting Kang to conquer, but where is he? Like, like um, I don't know. We have um, regular-sized um, Scott and Hope. So they reunited. Pretty cool. I like this looking thing. It looks creepy. And, um, yeah, we, we basically have, um, you see the hair? It looks weird. But we basically have Hope and Scott. Scott's bleeding. I wonder how the fighting with Kang the Conqueror, Kang the Conqueror is going to go. Because, like, is it going to be, like, a fist fight? Kind of like how, in spoilers, spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home, of Peter versus Green Goblin. How that was, like, a fist fight. Is it going to be like that? Because Scott's bleeding. Or did he just trip or something? So, yeah. Kang to, Kang to Conqueror really like, got him in the nose. And we see that uh, Janet and Hank are kind of scared too. Kind of like, what are we going to do? We have... Oh, in the background, we have um, Kang talking to someone. It could be Scott or it could be someone else. For all we know, it could be Cassie. But we basically have um, Kang saying that, Hey, if you help me... I can help you get back home and I can give you more time. More time to do what? To find something? To go back home? To live? But people saying that Amit's gonna die because you have this giant Amit kind of unraveling and the helmet kind of. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Ho hold on. I couldn't be the only one who saw this, right? Because everyone's saying, oh, look, Ant-Man's going to die because of the helmet. It's um, foreshadowing. How come someone tell me about the other variants of Ant-Man here? Am I... I guess tell me I'm the only one who knows this. I was about to skip past it, but... Look, look at that. Or is that not Ant-Man? Maybe this is too, like, robotic, but the helmet looks the same, Right? Are these just illusions, or are they actually variants of Ant-Man? Am I different? Because I subscribe to other people who are, like, you know, famous for doing Marvel stuff and reacting, reviewing to Marvel stuff and speculation, things in the background and secret messages and stuff like that. And not one that I've subscribed to has mentioned other variants of Ant-Man, at least to my knowledge. Maybe I, I forgot. But look, there's other variants of Ant-Man. Or is that not Ant-Man? But look at that one right there. It kind of looks like Scott. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It kind of looks like Ant-Man. And also, in different universes, the outfit could look different. So maybe this is Ant-Man, just a little bit more, like a bigger suit, maybe? I mean, I, I don't know. Just a helmet. The helmet looks the same. Am I the first one to figure that out? Probably not, but... And basically, we have um, Scott and Hope kind of running from something and there's like an explosion oh it's oh my god it's not hope cassie and cassie's in her um stature outfit which is like a purple suit and we have kang in his outfit that's like powering something up and I'm kind of glad that we have scott and hope protecting cassie because we know how much scott loves his daughter and cassie loves him and how hope knows that and knows that's about Scott's life, and it, that's his daughter. And so, and, um, Hope, um, I'm not sure if she sees Cassie as a daughter also. I mean, she might, but I'm glad that she's, like, protecting her also. I, I, I'm glad. And okay, getting that's a purple suit, but, um, so that's her stature outfit. And basically, we have, um, Kang just kind of walking, and Scott's kind of... Like, mm, I don't know. And then we be, we, we, we have Kang's like, what's going to be? And he's like, Ant-Man. And he's kind of like, whoa, like you know me? <laughs> and we have Ant-Man. Um, oh, so, uh, sorry, sorry. We have Ant-Man and the Wasp and then Quantumania. And in February 17th, 2023... Um, I wanna, wanna make sure, wanna get good thumbnail. Yeah, I'll leave it like, like that. So, um, yeah, that's my review of the, 
uh, of the trailer. I'm um, pretty cool. Um, questions. Um, how did Cassie make that device? Did Hank and Hope help her build it? And also with the fact of the previous Ant Man, Ant Man Two, where basically um, Cassie said that, "Hey, Dad, maybe I can be your partner and help you." And at the end, where he told Hope, like, "Hey, my dad wants me." wants you to be his partner i asked if i could help but he says i'm too young to do it then we have cassie who's older and she has a and she has a satcher outfit on maybe she's going to be the one to kind of step up and like you know be like a hero i know what it means to be a hero and um the new heroes i say they're like okay i think they kind of kind of understand what it means to be a hero and making like sort of big decisions um i guess spoilers for the show sort of sort of miss marvel had like a big fight at the end and um does she understand what it means to be a hero um i guess she understands the meaning of saving someone's life i guess and, and that is important with she hulk it was um uh oh no that's the other situation <laughs> Um, but she does know, um, through other people basically talking to her, um, basically, you know, Bruce and Daredevil, you know, Matt Murdock and stuff like that, that you have these powers, you have a responsibility to help people. Even though you do help people in the law room, you have to help people in other ways too, since you have the power to do it, or otherwise that's being selfish. So she does understand that, but again, there's other stuff to, but whatever. <laughs> um, we have Kate Bishop and, um... Yeah, I think she learned from Hawkeye of what it means to be a hero also. Is she one of my favorites? No, but no, I, I think she understands. I think she understands. We have Ironheart coming in um, Black Panther 2. Um, what kind of forever. So hopefully she knows what it means to save someone's life and be a hero and you know, sacrifice, self-sacrifice and stuff like that. So hopefully they do right with her. You know, we'll see. And people are saying that a Satcher leads the Young Avengers, like, in the comics. So, I'm wondering if if we're going to get... We usually get two post credit scenes. So, let's see. Protection for the post credit scenes, okay? This, this is just my prediction. The movie hasn't come out yet. I didn't get any leaks. This is just my thoughts. I say the first one will be kind of like another setup for Ant-Man. Or Ant-Man and the Wasp. If... He will survive. I'm not sure he's going to survive, but if he will survive. Something to do with him. The next one's probably going to be with Cassie kind of setting up the Young Avengers. Kind of like how Nick Fury did. What was it at the end of the first um, Iron Man movie? Where he talked to Tony. And then the first Incredible Hulk movie, 2008, where Tony went to talk to General Ross, basically. So I wonder... If we're gonna get Cassie in her like Satra outfit, talk to let's see, what was the first Young Avenger that was introduced? They're not the Young Avengers yet, but what was the first one that was introduced? I'm trying to remember. What what was it Kate Bishop? It was Kate Bishop, right? It was Kate Bishop, then Miss Marvel. It's an iron heart, right? Wait, that, 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 that's the order, right? I, I, I'm just trying to just trying to remem remember correctly. So yeah, it would be Kate Bishop. So are we gonna get um um Satcher um Cassie go to um Kate Bishop? Oh, that'd be pretty cool if um Cassie could meet Clint and um laura and like the kids that'd be pretty cool because right because isn't um i forget names isn't kate living with hawkeye now or with clint or was it just for a christmas thing it could just be for christmas thing and but i i that would be kind of sad if she just had to live all by herself but maybe she visits during weekends maybe who knows maybe she visits during weekends but um yeah, so that would be a cool post credit scene of her talking to um, Kate Bishop. Or you would be kind of funny if she would send a letter to both Kate Bishop and, like, Miss Marvel Kamala Khan. But 
Hmm. But no, that actually wouldn't work because of the situation at the end of Miss Marvel. I won't say any spoilers, but that would actually kind of make it not impossible. So maybe a letter to Kate Bishop and Ironheart to like meet up in a warehouse, maybe, and say, "Hey, who are you? Who are you?" And then Satcher comes out like, "Hey, who are you?" I don't want to send a letter, guys. We have to form a team. There's something, something's going on. It's bigger than all three of us, but we have to work together. And, and is it over? I'm saying a team. And then they're like, well, what kind of team? Like the Avengers and all? Sort of like the Avengers. And then it's like it says, oh, the beginning of the Young Avengers or something. Well, could be. Or she could just go to, um, where it's to Kate first, you know? And it can be just a slow process. Maybe. But yeah, anyway, um, this is my review of Ant-Man the Wasp, you know, Quantumania. Um... And again, like lots of questions. Of Kane the Conqueror, why does he want um, Scott's help? Um, does he personally know Ant Man, or does he just know him as a superhero? Um, is Scott going to survive? He got bloody bloody nose. Um, are those other variants of Ant Man? Am I the first one to figure that out? I, 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 honestly, I haven't heard anyone talk about that yet, so I'm generally curious. We have um hope. Um, will she grow her hair? Maybe. Um, you know, again, Cassie is stature. Um, what does Janet know? Um, Hank, um, he didn't really do much in the trailer. He's just there, so maybe he might build something? Maybe. <laughs> um, what else? Okay, talk about the Young Avenger, talk about Kang. Scott, Hope, Hank, Janet. Um, oh, are is that an army of Kangs? I saw that with the, the bluish helmets. Are all those Kangs or just soldiers? Maybe, maybe both, half and half. Um, well, people said that we could see Loki here. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Just, you just don't add people in that just not gonna make sense. Kind of like for, um, you can disagree with me. You can disagree with me if you want, but with Spider Man Three, the reason why it really just didn't work for me is that you brought three villains in. I was like, okay, that might be a cool idea, but you gave one amnesia and one we thought was dead. Or at least I thought Sandman was dead, because and we focused on Venom, but Venom wasn't really fan of Venom. You kind of like did half of it. You did half of the part. You know, the part was kind of not Venom-ish. So, this didn't really work. Like, you don't just give one villain amnesia and one we think is dead, which is Sam, and he turned, like, in the mud. I was like, oh, he's, Sam is gone? But I was like, oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. <laughs> um, but, so, you know, if Loki's gonna, gonna ruin the movie, which I don't think he will, but if he's gonna ruin the movie, don't have Loki in the movie. But if he isn't gonna ruin the movie, then put him in the movie, if it's gonna work. But, yeah. Um, everyone, what you think of the trailer? Um, what are you expecting from this? Did you think the CGI was awesome? Did you think it was mid? Um, and yeah, um, everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share the video. And don't forget to check out my community posts and my mini reviews. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for finally what I want to see for Big City Greens Season 3. Hopefully that'll be Wednesday. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you Wednesday for that. Okay. Bye.